his gentle, cheerful example, Father Solanus Casey taught others to put their trust in God. People understand what Father did. He healed people. A Wisconsin native, Father Solana served God and his fellow man joyfully in parishes in New York City, in monasteries in Detroit and in Huntington, Indiana. When he was in New York, the people that came wanted to see him. He'd get up every morning and there would be lines of people around the block waiting to come in to see him. Uh, they had, he had to leave New York because there were so many and he'd get so tired. They went to Detroit and the same thing happened. And then he came here and his last 10 years were a little quieter. Father Solanus, having lived here for 10 years, brought a lot of people in. The people of Huntington were just uh, so blessed by his arrival here. He came here as a retiree. He always in, enjoyed being with everybody. Father Solanus liked to do things here. For decades, visitors flocked to the humble doorkeeper, seeking his wise counsel, powerful prayers, and spiritual renewal. Father Solanus was known as the doorkeeper. What that meant, the Capuchins, when they would come in, they would knock, and he would open the door for them. Of course, anybody entering, he, they would have to knock. Um, but he also would uh, answer the phones. He was the only one in the group that had a phone in his room. And he spent hours on the telephone with people talking about, you know, anything that they wanted to pray for. A lot of times he would come down and sit in front of the altar. He would lay down there to pray. And a lot of times he would fall asleep there. Countless people benefited from Father Solanus' spiritual guidance and his gift of physical healing. There was a family. Their child was born with one lung. It had a partial second lung, but it was very small. And it wasn't maturing. And they had x-rays. They had, you know, documentation to show that this was happening. And they were going to go to Mayo. So on their way to Mayo, they stopped here. Father Solanus came by and said, there's nothing wrong with that boy. They took him back to the doctors and they could, they, his lungs were complete and uh, he lived for a long time after that. Just as Father Solanus has stated, he's a perfect baby. Father Solanus never considered himself a healer. He just wanted to help everyone and he wanted to pray for them. He was blessed by this miracle that God gave him. We just want to keep that spirit, that healing spirit, alive. Thousands of mourners attended Father Solanus's funeral in August of 1957, hailing him as a modern saint.